Man. That smells bad. Yep, that's right. There's some smoke in the atmosphere, and in this video, we're going to be going over exactly what that means for you, your family, and your friends. There's wildfire smoke coming from Canada, from the Alberta region, and in the Quebec region, but this time it's the Quebec region that is causing this smoke that is engulfing the Northeast right now. The air is actually pretty unhealthy this time. Last time, it was up in the higher portions of the atmosphere, but this time it is closer to the ground, so you're starting to smell the smoke, you're starting to feel the effects, especially especially if you're an older individual with heart disease or other conditions that have to do with respiratory or asthma. Hopping over to the fire map really quick, you can definitely see just how big some of these wildfire smokes are. And if you go to a certain time of the day, it really gives you a great depiction of how much smoke is in the air. I mean, just look at this as it tracks all the way down from Canada into the Northeast. I mean, we're talking about thick blankets of smoke. We're gonna see those red suns and potentially not even see the sun at all at some points, just because of how much smoke is in the air. Not only that, we are actually starting to see some conditions arise in the Northeast itself for fires. Potentially some dry thunderstorms could be happening today. And if you live in these regions on the map, you're definitely gonna have to be prepared to evacuate if one of these fast burning fires happens towards you. The Northeast hasn't seen too much rain recently, so that means it's dry out there. These little thunderstorms with lightning could cause some fires and they could move fast due to how fast the winds are gonna be moving in the area. So please make sure you have a plan in place to deal with that. Now let's go over some of the health effects. If you have asthma or you are an older individual, 50 and above with heart conditions or respiratory issues, I'm gonna lay out some tips for you to follow in order to stay safe for the next couple of days. As unfortunately, in some areas, we could be seeing this really unhealthy air for two to three days. And that's just based off of the simulated HRRR smoke. Who knows, maybe these fires burn even longer. This unhealthy air event could affect everybody from the northeast all the way down the east coast into the southeast, including parts of Alabama, Georgia, maybe even northern Florida could see some of this unhealthy air. There are news stories coming out that, yes, they are containing some of these, but some of them are burning without any containment. So this could last for a little bit longer than we are comfortable with. And the health impacts, even for younger and healthier people, could compound into the future. So when this is happening, make sure that you wear an N95 mask. That is the best way to protect yourself, especially if you're in one of the vulnerable groups I noted earlier in the video. Also, keep all your doors shut, and if it gets really bad, turn off the AC. I know it's gonna be cooler out there, so it shouldn't be too bad. When you have the AC on, all that's doing is bringing that unhealthy air into your building. Also, if you have to go outside, limit that outdoor activity to as small as possible. Like if you're walking your dog and they pee and poop, don't continue for the exercise value for your dog. Just go back home. You'll be able to make up that exercise time in the future. Also, outdoor activities like sports or hiking should be kept at a minimum or just be canceled altogether. But anyways, that's the update on the wildfire smoke coming across the United States from Canada. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video.